The U.S. presidential candidates picked up where they left off on the campaign trail after a short break to deal with the impact of Storm Sandy. There was a spring in President Obama's step as he descended on Wisconsin, a state that could vote either way next Tuesday. And although Obama has not been campaigning these last few days, officially at least, Storm Sandy still made it onto the campaign platform. There are no Democrats or Republicans during a storm. They're just fellow Americans. Leaders of different parties working to fix what's broken. Neighbors helping neighbors cope with tragedy. Communities rallying to rebuild. A spirit that says, in the end, we're all in this together. His Republican opponent, Mitt Romney, is also concentrating on the crucial swing states in the final days of the campaign. With the latest aggregate of polls putting the two men neck and neck, Romney went to Virginia, where he revisited his attacks on Obama of a week ago, claiming the president is becoming more and more petty. Unfortunately, what you've seen before your very eyes is a campaign that keeps on shrinking and shrinking and shrinking to smaller things. I mean, he's been out talking about how he's going to save Big Bird and, uh, <laughs> and then playing silly word games with my last name and then, uh, or first, and then uh, attacking me day in and day out. Attacking me doesn't make an agenda, doesn't get people back to work. Yeah.